Well, good morning, folks. It is about 8.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and uh, I'm on here with Billy. Billy is, uh, I believe, muted. He's going to be taking care of posting some links in the comment section for you guys. I'm going to go right ahead and start uh, sharing my screen. I'll actually remember to do that this time. Billy, go ahead and chime in if it doesn't work in a few seconds. I'm going to verify it's working now. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Anyway, the reason we're joining you today, as you could probably tell from the titles, we had an X 2.2 solar flare. Um, it peaked at 11.42 universal time uh, not too long ago. And it did indeed come out of that new region that we were looking at uh, this morning earlier in the morning news. If you haven't seen the morning news, there's some pretty good updates in there, by the way. Uh, check it out. Anyway, it did come from these new sunspots. Uh, if you'll remember, uh, these uh, looked like a triple umbra uh, sunspot group connected by their penumbral regions. Now, luckily, this eruption is on the incoming limb. It is not Earth-directed. Um, this satellite, the SDO satellite, looks directly from the Earth. So, as you can see, this is missing. Uh, this is going to miss our planet by a pretty good margin. However, anytime there's an X-class solar flare uh, or an M-class solar flare, for that matter, we get a radio blackout. And Patricia Howard was nice enough to share this with us uh, on Facebook. She had posted this actually during the solar flare. Um, She's up enough on her material to go right over to uh, what's known as the DRAP, the D region absorption prediction. Uh, that's the D region of the ionosphere. And basically this shows the area of radio blackout effect from the X-ray radiation and the extreme ultraviolet radiation uh, that's coming from the solar flare. That goes out in all directions at the speed of light. The moment we notice the solar flare, we are getting... Um, you know, we're already taking the radio blackout at that point. You have to excuse me, that was my phone. People asking about the flare. But anyway, you can see that there was a pretty good radio blackout over most of the Atlantic, Africa, Europe, and uh, even the Middle East and parts of Russia as well. Um, this sunspot group itself contains three umbras that are, you know, each about the size of, um, you know, the United States. Uh, together, they span an area. Um, that's probably bigger than the Earth. The solar flare itself um, came out of this region, which had actually produced most of the larger sea flares so far uh, in the morning. It's a pretty solid uh, CME that's going out behind Earth's orbit, actually, um, in terms of how the Earth orbits around the Sun. Uh, we're moving left to right, in addition to the Sun, rotating left to right as well. So is what it is. This is definitely another uh, Uyen candidate. You know, for those who haven't been following the Uyen system, um, over on suspiciousobservers.org you can click storms. And basically, since the beginning of March, we have been tracking uh, Dr. Uyen's uh, theory that this type of space weather should uh, be proliferative to tropical storms and often seismicity as well. It has worked out very, very well and we can now add um, this solar flare which is actually an enhancement to the current candidate number nine which has actually, I'll go ahead and I'll pull that up here, which has actually already produced tropical storm Christina here in the Atlantic, uh, here in the Pacific, excuse me, the far eastern Pacific. This is supposed to track over to the west uh, and then maybe come slightly north. But in addition to that, excuse me, we have another one in the Indian Ocean. Uh, this is uh, India over here to the right. Uh, this is the Middle East over here, and this cyclone, uh, this cyclone forming system is probably going to head straight over uh, this way. And after this solar flare, I think there's a pretty good chance we could see some intensification to these storms. Um, as we said earlier, because they came off of the limb, uh, you know, because it came off the limb, it is not going to be Earth directed. We probably shouldn't expect any CME impact or uh, geomagnetic storms. Uh, the radio blackout event is pretty much over at this point. 
you know, you can see these subside as soon as the flare does. And even if this was Earth directed, uh, it probably would have given us some good geomagnetic storms, uh, some beautiful auroras, but X2.2 uh, is still way, way lower than uh, anything it would take to cause any sort of worry here at Earth. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll keep updated on anything else to come, and we'll definitely have to keep an eye on this sunspot group because it's going to be facing Earth in just a few days. So eyes on the sun, everyone. Be safe.